make one page when you can make a whole book? Hi, I'm Julie Faith Ann Balzer, and somewhere along the way in scrapbooking, we discovered if one page was good, a whole book was even better. And my favorite book happens to be an art journal, which I have brought with me. You can see it right here. And one of the reasons I love art journaling is because I travel so much. And traveling with paint can be a little bit tricky. So I've discovered a kind of fun solution that I want to share with you today in this leaf page. So what I did is I pre-painted a couple pages before I left home. And you can see here that I've just taken a piece of watercolor paper, which is just like the paper in my book, and I've done that. Now, this is a shiny surface, and it can be a little bit hard to draw on top of. So I've taken some paint pens, which are easy to travel with, and that's exactly what I'm going to use to doodle on top of this. So first rule of paint pens, you need to shake it. And you can hear that little ball moving in there. And then you want to make sure to have a piece of scrap paper and to press in the tip. And then you can see that's way too much ink. There you go. It's nice and soupy. So now I'm ready to go. So I'm going to doodle upside down. So I hope it turns out. A leaf is a pretty easy shape. It's a straightish line. And then you're just going to make a drop on either side, leaving a little tail at the end. And look how uneven my sides are. But you know what? I like it like that. And I'm going to go ahead and do the next one as well. And I'm going to go ahead and embrace a slightly fatter leaf, shall we say. And then I'm actually going to add a little something extra to that. I'm going to add a little border here, which goes in and out. Again, it starts in, out, and then in again. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some stripes in here. There we go, easy peasy. And the paint just glides right atop that other paint. I don't even have to think about it. Plus it's gonna be permanent and it's going to go perfectly in my art journal. I think I said that in a kind of evil voice. There you go. And so I've added a little bit of embellishment there. I could also add in, are these called the veins in leaves, I believe? You can add those in. And again, there's no matter about the rule of how many. So for instance, this little tiny leaf could have many more veins than like the big one does. And I find that echoing is one of the easiest doodles on earth to do. So echoing, it's just when I'm echoing the shape. I'm just echoing that shape, and I'm echoing that shape, and I'm even alternating which side I'm doing it in. Now, I'm actually gonna switch over to the smaller tip size of this paint pen, and I think I've already shook, shook I've already shaken this, and yep, it's working, so no problem, because I wanna fill this with circles, and that larger tip is just a little bit too large to, for me to get that, but you can see that the color coordinates perfectly, so if someone were to look at this, they'd have no idea that I actually used two different markers to make this glorious page. So I would just continue to fill with some circles all the way down, and I can even fill in some of the leaves over here, Again, using that smaller size to get it done. And I have one here in which I've already finished all of my doodling. And now, let's see, I'm gonna take, let's use the big yellow one. Shake it up. Let's make sure it's working. I don't need to press that tip in. And I'm gonna go ahead and color. And you can see how nice and opaque and easy going this is, and I don't have to even worry about it. It's painting without a brush. It's kind of a fun way to think about it. Now, speaking of opaque, I wanna show you one of the most magical things. I think the search for the perfect white pen is kind of something that every scrapbooker does. So I have a white one here. Now, this is completely opaque, so when I go in these little circles, you'll see it just covers up that green and all you see is the little dot, even though white is such a lighter color. So whether you're an art journaler or not, this is a great thing to use on a scrapbook layout. If you wanna have any white anywhere, I can color these ones in that. I can also color it in, you know, using any coordinating color that I want at all. And you can see, you can mix it up, have lots of fun, and you can change the colors of the leaves. Now, if you wanna go fast, which sometimes I do, that's when I switch to the big tip. So right around here, I might go fast because this is a less fussy kind of thing and it goes on smooth and easy. Now I wanna show you how I did the echoes that you can see again, if we look at the finished page once more, you'll see it has these lovely echoes and they're shiny. So what I did is I used a metallic paint pen, same thing, shake it, make sure that the tip's working, it's all good. And then all I did was take the shape and echo it. 
And again, with doodling, anything that is repeated is awesome. And I wanna show you the one last thing is the messy writing. Sometimes I have secret thoughts that I don't wanna share. And so what I do is I'm actually writing things, but I'm just really, really abstracting it. So let me show you this a little bit here on this white paper so you can see it a little more clearly. If I write, hello, I'm Julie. That's how I would write it in my normal messy handwriting. So to abstract it, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squish it up so it's writing on top of each other. And you can't really read it. And I can keep going to abstract it even more so that it all squishes up on each other. And if you look at my final project, what you'll see here is that it is actual writing of things I'm really thinking. It's just all squished up so I can have my private thoughts and still share this with any of my friends. So I hope that you will take this idea of using your paint markers on top of paint. Use it on your scrapbook pages, use it in your art journal, put it onto an altered piece of art, whatever it is, but give it a try in your own kind of book.